Council. Well, Janet. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Madam Speaker, yeah, 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 yeah. for this opportunity to add my views on the reports on the floor of the House. Madam Speaker, I will start by joining others that um, have sent their wishes to Honorable JJ Banda, yeah. our Honorable Member of Parliament, who is uh, somewhere in Eastern Province under police custody. We wish him well. Madam Speaker, I'll start by agreeing with uh, the move of the motion where the committee made observations that um, there's a limited scope within which the fight against corruption is implemented. Madam Speaker, to properly fight corruption, we first must understand and be able to properly define what corruption is. In other jurisdiction, Madam, jurisdictions, Madam Speaker, there is a broadened definition of corruption. Corruption, Madam Speaker, should not be understood to be a mere taking or giving of bribes. But it involves actions that put private interest over and above public interest. And this will be in relation to administration, policy, and legislation. So, Madam Speaker, with that broadened definition of corruption, we should be able to properly fight corruption. In other words, we can come up with a simple test. When there's a policy from government, put it to test. Was that particular policy in favor of private capital or public interest? And the answers are all there to see. The moment we are able to define a corruption, we will then be able to see the corruption in some of the policy decisions that governments take. Yes. For instance, Madam Speaker, there is a non-mining house that stole $2.5 billion from the CMIH, and the matter was before the police. Directors of that company were actually arrested. A minister comes up, withdraws the case, and the $2.5 billion is gone. In that particular case, Madam Speaker, if we're able to put that action to that test, we all should be able to see without any difficulty that there was something wrong. There are restriction orders currently on people's apartments, three, four, five flats, a truck, two, five vehicles, restriction orders. They're appearing before the police. But these directors that took away the wealth of this country to the tune of $2.5 million, million dollars, billion dollars, are out there enjoying the money. Yeah. What motivated that individual, that minister, to make such a decision? Those are questions that we must ask. We are talking about recoveries, Madam Speaker. Recoveries of goods obtained corruptly. Why should we abandon $2.5 billion properly earned by one of our uh, corporate bodies and chase after Floods in Kabwata, in Ibex, and they so were fighting corruption. Yeah. 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 Madam Speaker, we have to define corruption for what it is. Yeah. Once we put the definition of corruption in its proper context, we begin to see through a lens. If you look at road concessions, for instance, being given today, you'll be able to see and realize that indeed some of these decisions are not made in public interest, but private interest. How then can it be that with all the collective wisdom seated here, some gentleman just walks in and says, I'm coming to borrow money from your institutions and I'm going to build you a road, but I'll collect tolls for the next 25 years. That is an insult to the collective wisdom of the Zambian people because that is something that we can do on our own. But the question still remains. Let's put that to a test. The decision at that, at that particular point, was it made in public interest or private interest. private interest? Madam Speaker, a mining house owes Zambia Revenue Authority one billion question, yes. one billion dollars. Yes. Right now we are at the IMF looking for 1.3 billion. Mm. There is one billion owed to us mm. and the minority shareholder of that company now reveals to us to say that tax has been forgiven, they are only going to pay 23 million dollars. Mm. What corruption are we fighting? The question that begs is that let's have a broadened definition of corruption. Corruption, Madam Speaker, 
He is not the mayor taking or giving of bribes, but it involves actions that put public, private interests over and above public interest. This is the real test that we have to put these decisions through. Madam Speaker, today we have paper tigers coming in the name of Vietnamese investors to come and get six million hectares of land. The transaction. The honorable member, I think that matter was brought out in the.